Well, I went to jail between 1985 and 1994 13 times for being under the influence of a narcotic. My mom is white, my father was black. I haven't seen him since I was a kid, so I don't know whether he's alive or not. They were married in the 50s in the Midwest, and they caught hell from both sides. Both of their families disowned them. So he'd go in the world and get emasculated, come home, take that out on my mom. Not uh, physically, but emotionally. And he turned into someone she didn't know. So she left him, she married a white man that was her knight in shining armor who turned out to be uh, an alcoholic monster. My childhood home was a battlefield. It was a battlefield and I went into battle every day and I just shut down. Then I was molested twice, well, once by a man, once by a woman. And these are dots that I have just now been able through group therapy and individual therapy to, to connect. So my lifetime has been spent since I was six years old uh, trying to alleviate that pain, that stress, and those memories. When I was, I don't know, 11, 10, 12, something like that, I started drinking, became another person. Then I got into cocaine and that, um, there's just something in me and probably all the other addicts out there where you just discover a really, really quick way for the pain to stop. I was never treated for uh, this obvious problem. I was treated like a criminal very much so. But again, I want to emphasize that I never sold drugs and I never jacked anybody. But I was always arrested and processed and spent time in the holding cell, the drunk tank, and then released and, you know, told to appear a month later, two months later, whatever. And, and, and not one time, not one time did a prosecuting attorney or a DA see that this was my ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth time through this process and say, wait a minute, uh, this person needs help. And believe me, I'm not sitting here thinking for a minute that I'm the only one. There are millions of people out there like me who continually go through the system. Doesn't it raise a red flag for anybody, to anybody? Not a red flag, but a fireworks display. There's a problem here. I'm sitting here today because um, I lost everything and I ended up in a doorway and I, I checked myself into a program where I could, get, um, I could get answers. No child understands that, one, it's not your fault your parents are getting divorced. It's not your fault you're being molested. It's not your fault you're being tortured. It's not your fault you're being abused. Kids don't know how to process that. We just think something's wrong with us. So I've carried that with me most of my life, that there's something wrong with me. So being able to get therapy, to have these dots connected for me, has meant the world to me because now I know. And I don't offer it as an excuse to anyone. I just, it's helped me forgive myself. It's helped me heal and be as emotionally and spiritually and mentally healthy as I've ever been. Because I finally now am able to connect the dots and know why I, I've done the things I've done in my life.